Hello coin collectors and welcome back to the All Change Review where today we're looking at the £2,007 £2 to celebrate the abolition of slavery in 1807. Now we'll come on to the value and the design of the coin shortly as I just wanted to briefly cover a bit of the history behind this coin and this will be a high level overview as the history behind the abolition of slavery could easily be a whole series in itself. So for this one we're going to have to go back to 1787, 20 years before the act was passed, as the Committee for the Abolition of the Slave Trade was set up by Evangelical English Protestants and Quakers who saw slavery as a blight on humanity, and rightly so. They worked hard for 20 years and then by 1807 they had quite a few seats in Parliament and their main spokesperson was William Wilberforce who when joining the abolitionists wrote God Almighty has set before me two great objects the suppression of the slave trade and the reform of manners. Now moving on 20 years with political fighting in the House of Commons and the House of Lords and the Act of Union aside on the 21st of February 1807 the bill was passed by 283 votes to 16. But this was actually just the start because this bill just abolished slavery in Britain only and it would be another 26 years before the Slavery Abolition Act was passed in 1833 which abolished slavery throughout the British Empire and it was the second act for the Empire and the Royal Navy which then meant they had more power to enforce the law and to put pressure onto other countries as well to help the fighting and the abomination that is slavery. But 1807 and the first act was where it legally all started, which is why 200 years later we have a coin to celebrate that act. Now, as I said, that's just a brief look at the act and the history. And I'll post a link below to the BBC Bite Science website, which has more resources on the subject, should you want to look into it further. So, let's move on to the design of the coin itself. And it was designed by David Gentleman, who's gone for a simplistic but effective design of the year of the act, 1807, and of the zero being made of a broken chain. Now, this is on a mottled background, and we have an act for the abolition of the slave trade, around the edge with the year of mintage 2007 at the bottom here. Turning it over to the face side you can see here we have the fourth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II and as normal I'll post a link below to the video where we've covered off these portraits before. And then I just want to turn it onto the edge and on the milled edge here you can see it says am I not a man and a brother which is actually a slogan that comes from the medallion design by Joshua Wedgwood. Now these medallions were widely made and distributed and even became the fashion with people wearing them as badges and ladies making them into brooches. So with that let's move on to the value of these and I'll start with these normal circulated versions and looking online at the last five sold from circulation they went for an average of £2.66 which was a little higher than I was expecting with 8 million 445,000 minted but there is a second version with a lower mintage which was released in the brilliant uncirculated set and it's the same design as this but instead of a mottled background here it has a smooth background and it also has the letters D and G after the 1807 as well now you're unlikely to find one of those in your change but it does happen very occasionally and these coins from the brilliant uncirculated sets when they're in the set normally go for around £10 so a circulated one would most likely go for a bit less than that but I'd be surprised if it was much less though I can't say for certain or how much as condition is always going to be a key factor when buying or selling coins but what do you think of this design and do you have it in your collection as well? let us know in the comment section below but until next time, coin collectors, thanks for watching and keep collecting. Bye.